um i want to quickly talk about the concept of the greenhouse itself the concept of every part of the greenhouse that you are looking at um how we came up with them and why we are using them uh for our own structure because i get a lot of questions day in day out about why we use these and why we use that i just give you a brief uh, uh explanation about why we use some materials in this in, in this greenhouse uh, before we proceed uh, the materials that we use are one we use galvanized materials we use uh, aluminium materials we use uh, pvc materials and we will use uh, fiber materials in this uh, in the construction of this small greenhouse because some of them are biodegradable and some of them are uh, some of them last a long period of time before they also you have to spend start spending money here and there on uh, constructing or, or maintenance every time every now and then that's why we use this kind of materials for example the fiber net is biodegradable so it, it, even if, buried, if it is buried in the soil it will not uh, rot and spoil on time so it can last you for a long period of time now let's start with the net this the, the greenhouse is covered with a uv treated sun net this is a black net uh we use this kind of net uh, we use nets generally for some from reasons which are number one we want we are trying to create a synthetic world in this snow greenhouse that is uh, a, uh, uh, being, uh creating a wild like environment in a confined environment so we want to make the farm as natural as possible so we need water to come in uh, to the farm to irrigate the, to wet the, the ground so that you have to start spending money on pumping water here and there and all that. So during rainy seasons, you spend less money on the fuel, the like wind generator, to power the pumping machines to pump water. So the natural source of water. Then, we'll, because we'll be planting some things inside this snow greenhouse, uh, which need sunlight for photosynthesis. That is why we use nets. Nets will allow rays of sunlight to come in, which will aid the growth of the plants that we'll be planting here. Uh, so we cannot make the top covered, except if we use some special kind of uh, tarpaulin. But, but we just need we need uh, 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 ventilation, we need sunlight, and we need water. That is why we use net. Please get it straight. We use net for for those three purposes: sunlight, water, and uh, uh, for the, uh, and uh, ventilation. We don't need this place to be to be because snails don't like uh, uh, hot places. So we need something that is very cold, even during the day. Uh, this the, the, the net is because of the dark color of the net, kind of repels black uh, repels the heat. Uh, from experience, it repels the heat. So uh, we have the, the, the inside is cooler during the day, even when the sun is so scorchy, it's cool inside compared to outside. That's about the net, and uh, the net can last so long because uh, they are made of strong sack-like materials that can withstand pressure. Now we use um, corrugated roofing sheets for our uh, barricade because uh, people have been asking us why we why we don't why don't we use uh, blocks uh, that is uh, normal blocks like this one uh, we, because the reason we use this is because reptiles snakes and um, uh, uh, things like frogs they can't climb corrugated with aluminium with sheets lizards cannot climb it and lizards are uh, one of the, uh, the enemies of sin farming. They can eat their eggs and even cause a lot of trouble in the, in the farm. So we don't need them inside. If we use blocks, they can climb blocks. They can even even rats can start eating the blocks and uh, you know find their way into the farm. But even rats cannot climb this roofing sheet. And it is totally biodegradable. It does not rust. It can last you for as long as possible and can be recycled. Even if you decide that you're not using, you're not doing the sin farm again, you can remove them. And use them for other purposes. It can last you for as long as, as possible, as long as the farm exists. So we use them. But it, it is it goes one foot deep into the ground, which is a, a form of uh, at least protecting uh, the, the farm uh, from uh, any penetration from any digging insect or reptiles and rodents. At least one foot, which the casting will now continue from there. So it has been working, and we keep using it. Uh, it's better than blocks. Because even uh, if you find it difficult for most of these uh, termites to just climb up and come in and all that, even uh, 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 the lizards cannot, they can't even climb it at all. Even other types of uh, some small lizards, they can't. So it is 
very secure and safe to use in your farm uh, better than blocks so, so i must say tell you because you know, if you check online you see a lot of videos of those who have used blocks for the base of their you know season they've had a lot of issues a lot of issues now so uh, then we use galvanized pipes galvanized pipes that are well coated with zinc you know that there are different types of galvanized pipes there are some that are let me see Nigerian made uh, that uh, when you touch it, your, your hand will be white. The ones that are like fake galvanized pipes, we don't use that. We use the imported galvanized type of galvanized pipes that can stand the test of time and do not rust. Because you know, water will be coming or we touching the pipe, and uh, sunlight and even wind, which are one the agents of rust. Uh, but with the, using these galvanized pipes, they don't rust. You can use it. You can, we could have used the normal pipe, but uh, a normal uh, mild steel pipe. But those who cannot stand the test of time as much as these uh, galvanized pipes will do. So we don't need to be, they don't need to be coated. They are already coated with zinc from the factory. So they can stand the test of time and they are stronger. Another concept that I want to talk about is this the, the bed, this net or bed net that, that are here, that are installed all over the, the, the farm. We, the concept behind this bed is to increase the total square meter of the land or let me say the the, the the increase the space that we have available in the land for example now this is a, a plot of land uh, two plot of land 100 by 100 feet uh which is about 1200 square meters for those who know the mathematics uh we're going to be accommodating a lot of snails and we need maximum space it will be starting with they are starting with 6000 snails in this farm which is to give us about 200,000 snails at the end of the farming season, you know, although you will not, that 20,000 will not be all mature, uh, mature sizes, it will accommodate both the babies, uh, the table sizes, the breeder sizes, uh, uh, jumbo, and even eggs, you know, but no, they're all snails now, so they're, they're part of it. So we need enough space for them because they can, once snails adapt to an environment, they're very hard to send away they thrive so well that they just keep reproducing and reproducing now so um each net is about 12 square, two square meters and we have 250 pieces of this net installed in this snow greenhouse that is about 500 extra square meters that's about a plot of land close to a plot of land that we've added to this space we're talking about volume and uh which is a very good concept because snails can live sideways, they can live upside down and different different orientations as well snails can live. So that is the concept behind this bed. For snails to, to stay here, you know. Uh, when, when water touches this net, it kind of retains some some part of water that the snails can come and just come and stay and you know uh, uh, take, uh, just keep them cool. Keep them cool from it. Now we use um this uh, gaze net, which is probably known as Boko Haram net, get the galvanized one, not the, the most stable one, uh, as a form of shield so that the snails cannot leave this compartment and move to the walkway. Although there's an exception, I don't know, somewhere, somewhere we have some smart snails, let me put it like that, that they climb on each other to get out of this compartment, but th that is inevitable. But uh, the, the essence of this, this net is just to limit the numbers that will move to the walkway so they are all confined here with the vegetation and uh and other things then we, we use pvc um uh, sheets to hold this the poker arm net together and to mark out each compartment to mark out each compartment in the in the and the uh in the greenhouse so uh, we can know okay this is what, what uh, the portion we're using for this uh, 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 number of snails we can all tell me okay this is part a part b part c part d you know the, in the farm records so you can be able to know okay in so, 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 so parts we have so, so amount of snails and we pick mortalities and all that and all that inside the farm then i've discussed about this block is a new concept uh which we just developed snails like to hide inside blocks that are wet you know and when when, when water touches this, this uh blocks they retain the moist the, more, the moisture for long uh the, that um that keeps them cool inside the inside the inside the uh the blocks for a long period of time so we don't have issues with that then um we're going to be planting we're planting here we plant um 
cocoyam or dwarf banana suckers uh, because they grow from, from the soil and they all shed leaves which form a shade. That way we can be able to if we plant m multiple units of those um, those plants, we can be able to see what is going on on the soil. We are using a natural soil uh, which is uh, prone to uh, infestation of termites because uh, we can't we can't, we can't uh, eradicate termites. We can only control them. Please get it right. You, you can't eradicate no matter what you do. But as long as you're using the natural soil, you cannot eradicate them, right? you can only control them. So uh, we need to see what's going on so we can observe, treat, uh, isolate and treat. That is, if, if we discover a termite here now, for example, we will isolate this area we, 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 because we're going to be giving you this um, vocal arm net where you can use to isolate the area so things cannot come in. And we'll tell you, telling you a special kind of chemical that you can apply to that portion where they are. Then you wet it, wet the ground, and make the place safe again for the snow to come in. So there are other options that you can use to control termite. You can either uh, make ginger and garlic pastes and, and and spread around, or you plant ginger and garlic in the soil and different different portions of, just to control uh, termites from coming in into the farm because uh, it's a very good uh, uh, anti-termite uh, natural plant. You understand? So we're planting here inside the farm. We don't plant vegetables because they top out, they cover topsoil. We add little plants, climbers, because they cover everywhere, and you don't know, really know if there's a lizard in the farm. If, for example, they open the door down, and the lizard finds its way in, so you can't really see uh, moving animals inside the farm. And so that's why we don't. We, uh, that's why we don't plant those kind of climbers. So that those are the basic things that we do uh, that we have in this farm. Then. We use, um, uh, we put our irrigation system is installed at the top of the farm so that it, it can give you a mist or rain like feeling when we are wetting. Uh, so uh, you don't have to manually pour water on the, on the soil. Once you turn on the sprinkler from there, from, from the uh, switch there, it starts to rotate everywhere. And when, when you feel like this is moist enough, you can you can um, switch it off. You know, don't forget that the concept is of this greenhouse is to create a wild like or a synthetic wild, a wild like environment in a confined environment. So we need to achieve things that are natural as possible. We need, we need the sprinklers to work like it's actually raining. Uh, so that's why we install it up, not down. So we won't get the place flooded and uh, etc. So thank you very much for watching the video. Don't forget to uh, uh, like and subscribe so to get more updates from us about um, how we do what we do best. Thank you very much.